This this is really where I'm gonna cut myself deep on this one. Cause this is what I have struggled with the most is just fucking always, oh well, you know, there was maybe not now, maybe not this, maybe not that, you know. And there is a a deep level of understanding that you have to have for yourself to really not tear yourself up and that part of the mindset is uh an experience based thing that is very much earned because I'll tell you it is very understandable to just tear yourself up over all the bad decisions and just keep killing yourself over all the small stuff and then you feel and recognize that it all it's adding up and you're falling behind and all this stuff but it, Like, just being able to wipe the slate clean in a way. Never, like, truly clean, clean, but really this version, this new version of wiping the slate, of really not holding all of this stuff against yourself too, too much. Not being too, too critical. Just navigating these winding paths. You just have to, like, <laughs> as much as you can, just appreciate the difficulty and the size and the scale of figuring out who you are as a person and who you want to be. It is an enormous weight. But like anything else, the more you practice moving that weight, the stronger you're going to become. The more you do it, and you recognize it for what it is, you realize that it's it's easier than you think. Every time it gets easier too. And that's, you know, the same with everything else. Practice is practice is practice. You just keep on practicing. Every single thing can be something that can be practiced. If you think about it the right way, whether it's worth practicing, as another conversation to be had, but you gotta practice changing your mind, practice readjusting all of the small parts of the way that you make your decisions. It's something that you practice, just like anything else. Good decisions aren't just, well, I'm gonna make this good decision today, I'm gonna make that good decision tomorrow, and then I'm just gonna keep making this good decision the day after that, and then I fucking am just making fucking good decisions all day, and I'm just reeling off good decisions now, and this is just fucking how it goes, and now it's only good decisions. Believe it or not, yeah, that's not exactly how that works. It's a muscle that you have to flex. It's something that could potentially get injured. It's something that you're might have to pivot away from at some point where you think it was serving you really well and it isn't serving you well anymore. It's constant reanalysis of why you're making the decisions that you're making. Is it serving the direction that you want to move towards? Are your intentions the right? Just are they in alignment in the first place? Not even are they at a right, like, that's not for me to decide. Your intentions are for you and yours. It's just recognizing the patterns that you are creating. It's so important. It becomes who you are. You become the patterns that you engage in. That says more about you and your intentions than anything else. This is just what you do consistently. If you're not thinking about that, then I don't really know what you're considering on a daily basis. What are you actually thinking about? I couldn't tell you. It's, you have to affect the way that you make decisions or you're never actually in charge of yourself in any way the way that you decide and processing your emotions in the middle of your decisions and understanding that 
aspect of it as well. A lot of the major decisions that you're going to make are going to be not just difficult, but very, very emotionally charged. Are you going to be able to recognize that in the heat of the moment, or are you just going to say whatever the fuck you want to say? Because that's dangerous, and that is not going to serve you as well as it should. And I'm hoping that that is not who you have decided on being, is someone that is ready to say whatever the fuck they want at, at the drop of a hat just because they feel the way that they feel. Because that kind of person is someone that I just feel bad for. Like, holy shit, how sorry is that? And it's not that, you know, emotional decisions aren't made, but only ever being someone that has never actually affected the way that they process their emotions. Like, Man, talk about fucking coming up short. What a sorry way to live. To just, like, be a victim of life permanently. It's just fucking really, really gross. There's just... All different kinds of extremely tough decisions. Bridges to be burned. Fences to be remended. You got to change your perspective to make sure that you're making the best decisions. And it has to be a flexible perspective. You have to be able to zoom in. You got to be able to zoom out. You got to be able to pan side to side. You got to be able to understand where other people are coming from as well when you're making your decisions. Because so much of it isn't just setting fires and just I made a tough decision and I'm better for it now without gratefulness and understanding you're still going to just be missing the point even if you don't like them you can still choose to help them and you will be better for it it's, it's gonna be even funnier when you just walk away Wondering what they're actually thinking. <laughs> and they just were the shittiest dickhead ever, and then you just help them anyways. Like, those are the kinds of decisions that change your life. Those are the kinds of decisions that let you in on a perspective that so many people just seemingly don't even care to attempt to unlock for themselves. And that's how, that is it. That's how you change your life. That's what you have to do to make things better. Actively consider all of your decisions and seriously, seriously evaluate whether or not you actually want or need any of it. I think you can probably cut away so much more than you think. And lose absolutely nothing but negative. It really is, like, it can be that straightforward. It really can. There's so much extra shit that we've just convinced ourselves of. It's like, oh, well, also the first thing I thought of. Well... You know, I want to enjoy life. I want to make sure that, you know, we only live for so long and, you know, I want to enjoy the things that I have. When you remove that, all the, all the extra that you don't need anymore, you make so much more room for shit that actually matters and you actually fill all of your time up with shit that is actually worth it. Once you have actually intensely evaluated what's serving you properly, 
and you make the decision to get rid of it, you have so much more time and energy for shit that actually means something to you. You aren't creating a void in your life of all of these things that, you know, once were and, well, I can't have that anymore. I just have to suffer now. Like, it is a... No. There's so, 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 so much more that you are going to be able to enjoy once you ditch all the shitty shit that you don't need. And I tell you, you might not like the idea of what you are going to like moving forward, but once you start to like that stuff, you're going to realize that you never actually liked any of the stuff that you were doing before that it was just these shitty crutches that were actually holding you back and making things worse for you. And once you move forward, all of this stuff that seemed like you wouldn't enjoy it as much, like exercise and getting outside more and being the reason that you move around and spending, by virtue, spending probably more time with others, and learning more about yourself, you're going to actually find out what it actually is to actually like all of that stuff. And you're going to realize, holy shit, you never actually liked anything before that all of these stop gaps and all of like the fucking corks that you're sticking in the side of the fucking boat. Just keep popping back out. Water is still coming in. You are still thinking. You got to fucking reboard the hole. You got to fucking reinforce the entire boat with strong decisions because those holes aren't going to plug themselves and your temporary fucking corks aren't good enough that making it until tomorrow and oh, it was just fucking just keep surviving. That's not surviving. Actively sinking. Surviving looks very, very different. Just because it takes longer doesn't mean you're surviving. Just a slower, more painful death. And it's just a ridiculous way to go. To never actually be in control of your decisions. To never actually understand your intentions. Stan's ego. To never actually witness your own reality in a way that you can affect is just so shitty and so unnecessary. It's just you believing a bunch of fucking bullshit that other people have told you, whether they meant to lie to you or not, still a lie. You gotta get rid of all that. And then once you start making those good decisions, it's going to feel a lot different. It's going to feel way different. And then you're going to feel what it actually feels like to actually enjoy and like it. And the progress that you're going to see is going to show up faster than you think if you're actually making real progress and not lying to yourself. A lot of people love to say, well, the progress is going to come slow, thinking that that, that is going to make people feel better about not seeing progress quickly but so much of that is like in my mind they aren't actually making progress if you're not seeing it you should see progress it should appear to you and it's not just oh well i lost x amount of weight now real real progress is a change in your mindset when you change your mind about what you need to function properly, progress will be completely, it'll be categorized completely differently. It's not a spreadsheet showing you how much weight you've lost per day and how much you are lifting more. That's nice. That's tangible progress that you should be proud of, but it's not the end all be all is not it's still you have to get away from just the numbers that are determining who you are for you 
progress is a shift in mindset and then a shift in mindset is going to allow for all of the other change you have to change your mind first before you change anything else and once you change your mind you actively assess the way that you are making decisions and then you will see and you will feel a difference mentally before other stuff shows up you're going to be able to identify the bad mentally first that's progress and then you identify the direction that you want to move towards and you change the way that you are facing that's progress you haven't lost a single fucking pound yet but you have made so 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 much progress do not allow other people to define what your progress is no one understands where you are starting from no one understands who you are trying to become as well as you do don't let other people define what that is for you that's not okay you are still still allowing other people to tell you what your progress is to think for you that's not okay you determine where you are going to end up and then once you get there you're going to pick a new spot because you're going to get there and you're going to get there faster than you think when you are actually making thoughtful decisions that are making a difference the amount of weight that you weigh right now it doesn't fucking matter outside of how you are allowing it to affect your decisions obviously so let's take that let's hold on to that for a second the way that you are going to approach things as someone that weighs 350 pounds compared to someone trying to get into shape that weighs 200 pounds is going to be a different it's gonna be a different road a different process you are a different person different variables you have to constantly reassess where you're at and the decisions that you are making when i say allowing there's a part of allowing that is letting other people tell you what is going on and then there is a part of allowing that is the healthy side of it where you are just letting the progress come to you that's what you have to allow the progress to reveal itself but consistently understand that the change in mentality isn't a snap decision just like the change in your physical isn't going to be an overnight thing but recognizing that and constantly thinking it through is the progress that you need to make first that's real progress you say well you know the weight might you might not lose it immediately but don't get no the weight is such a small part of your overall progress once you actually really get a chance to zoom out once again marathon not a sprint progress will be made quickly rapidly and otherwise but qualifying the progress that you make and understanding that losing 100 pounds is an enormous step and it's nothing to scoff at obviously and that is the first door you are going to have to open to make a bunch of other stuff it may feel that way at least that's what you may be focused on first things first and a lot of people are in the same boat but that door that hill that you're going to climb that mountain it may seem it may feel like a mountain at first but you're going to realize that was just the first hill and that the at the macro level of your understanding of your total progress that 100 pounds may feel like you're just it's everything but once you really, really start making progress and you adjust your mindset, you're going to realize that that was just part of the past. Eventually, it will be a part of the past.
and I think the biggest part of all of this to be said at the same time is once you realize that you have reset your values and the way that you make decisions, there's always more improvement. You don't get to just lose the weight and then it's, well, everything is fixed and I'm happy now. There's more on the other side of that door. There's another door at the end of that hallway. And then there's another one at the end of that one. There's always more. There's more reevaluation to done to be doing, to be done, and to always be doing. There's more adjustment to be made. There's always more to continue to do. And being excited and grateful for that, to loop it all the way back around to the beginning, is how you change the, I'll say, the strength of your subconscious foundation. That realizing that you already have done it and that it needs to happen again, but you have the confidence and the ability because you've proven it to yourself that you have. There's always more to do. You got to keep going. It's not, okay, I lost 100 pounds. I'm supposed to be happy now. What the fuck is going on? Don't be surprised once you lose all of that weight that you still have a lot more work to do. But that's the good, that's the exciting, that's the, that's the, the best part of it all is that there is so much more just improvement-wise, personality-wise, of just figuring out who you are. Once you start to become the person that you were trying to be, you're going to realize that person is trying to become someone else as well. And that's beautiful. That's a place that you have to get to. That is beyond beautiful. That's how you become who you're supposed to be. <laughs> Every video, I feel like I keep saying, like, what else is there? What else is there? You're not going for that. You're not going for anything. <laughs> Sorry to say. It's just, there's nothing as real as that. You got to make better decisions. You got to care about yourself. You got to be grateful. That's, that's where the rubber meets the road. It's where your intentions and your gratefulness actually create friction and get you somewhere. Without that, I don't know, you're just spinning your wheels, looking like a freaking clown to anyone that's actually getting anywhere. <laughs> you're just stuck in a ditch on the side of the road, fucking revving your engine over and over, wasting your gas, doing nothing. If this isn't the tow rope that you grab a hold of to get yourself out of there, then... Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with all that mud and staying dirty and getting nothing done. Have fun. Cussing up a storm. I don't have any time to waste. There's no more of that. Not saying I won't need someone else to help me out of a ditch one day, but... There's nothing else to it. You gotta make better decisions. And as always, you just gotta be safe. 
you gotta stay dangerous and you gotta take it easy when you can when you can you gotta take it easy it'll be good to yourself these decisions believe it or not hard decisions are hard to make and uh kind of find you never have as much time to make those decisions as you'd like that's how you consistently make the most best decisions that you can for yourself is by innately understanding your intentions and why you are making the decisions that you're going to make there's a quote that i really like to think of that kind of aligns itself with this You always tell the truth. You never have to worry about what you said. Because you always understand what you've said to people. If your intentions are always good, then you never have to worry about what or why you did something because you had good intentions. And that is all that anyone can ever ask of you. Shit's going to happen. The road to destruction is paved with good intentions. Coming for all of us. There's no getting away from it. And that is no reason to not always make the best decision that you can. That is, I know that for a fact. Without that, just a, you telling anything to anyone else is just the blind leading the blind. Don't fucking pretend. It's that simple. No more pretending. You have to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Or you're just wasting your time. And having said that, thank you for being you. And trying your best. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you.